Welcome to the final segment of our Pocket Game project. In this tutorial, we'll be finishing the LCD opening. Let's right-click on the top housing and select Edit Part. Let's expand the specification tree. Next, I'm going to offset this surface. I'll offset it by 0.5 millimeters. Tab. Let's reverse the direction also. Click OK. Let's offset another surface now. Activate the Offset tool. There's something pre-selected here. Let's delete it. Let's select the surface we want. We'll enter a zero offset distance value. Tab. And click OK. All right, let's hide our solid body. Expand the Solid Bodies folder, right-click, and hide. Next, we'll need to extend this surface. Activate the Extend tool. Click on this edge. Under End Condition, choose Up to Surface. Now we select the surface to which we'll extend, and click OK. Next, let's activate the Planar tool and create a planar surface right here. Click OK. Now we'll activate the Knit Surface tool. And we'll knit these two surfaces together. Finally, I'm going to activate the Trim Surface tool. Let's select the Mutual Trim type. Let's select these surfaces. In the Keep Selection area, let's keep this surface and this surface and click OK. OK, let's zoom out. Next, let's insert a plane that's parallel to the top plane. Select Top. We're going to offset the plane by 12 millimeters. Let's check to make sure it goes in the right direction and click OK. Now let's right-click on our new plane and insert a sketch. We'll take a top view. Next, let's activate the Rectangle tool. Right-click and select. Activate the Point tool. We'll insert points here, 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 and right click and select. Now shift select this point and this point and add a vertical relationship. Shift select this point and this point and add a horizontal relationship. Oops, I pressed vertical by mistake. We'll need to delete that. And let's add a horizontal relationship and click OK. Now we'll activate the Line tool to connect these two points. Right-click, Select. Let's Smart Dimension. 60 millimeters here. OK. Here, let's enter a value of 16 millimeters. OK. And OK. Now let's shift select these two lines and convert them to construction geometry. Next, I'll shift select these three lines and activate offset entities. Offset distance, let's enter a value of 0.5 millimeters. Tab. Let's keep the cap ends checkbox and the make base construction checkboxes checked. Click OK. Now let's bring back our solid bodies. Right click and show. Next, we'll make an extruded cut. Let's activate the Extruded Cut tool. From the End Condition drop down menu, let's choose Up to Surface. 
And in our surface selection area, we'll select this surface. Click OK. Let's hide this surface. Right click and hide. OK, let's rebuild our assembly. And let's hide this plane. Right click and hide. Let's edit the assembly. Right click, Edit Assembly. OK, it looks good. And this completes our pocket game project. We hope you've enjoyed this practical application of SolidWorks to a real life project.